Off the Farrakhan, has it top of the arc. He's defended on that outside. Little stutter step, takes it in the lane. Little teardrop off the window and good using that left hand. Who has a struggle? He shot the ball well and played well. He passes off to Mitchell. Now outside it comes again. Evans going to try his luck from downtown, and he drains it from the far wing left. Chantel with his first bucket of the night, and Virginia has extended to its largest lead of the night. It's 17 to 10. Williams bounce pass to O'Quinn, defended by Asad Sin. He drills past Asad. Now he puts it up and in underneath the basket. So Kyle O'Quinn has tied this game at 20 points apiece. And now Virginia will have a chance for the final shot. With nine seconds to go, Mustafa to the front court. Pull up jumper from the free throw line. Off the window and good. I don't know if we call that one. Virginia will take him any way they can, though. Here's a three-quarter court shot from O'Quinn, and it is an air ball. So Virginia will take the two-point lead into the locker room as we have reached the halfway point of this one. It's a right back on a handoff. Zaglinski drives inside, now passes out. Pull-up jumper from Farrakhan, no good, but Akil Mitchell stays with it and puts it right back up and in on a fallaway shot. Virginia better get things going here. As they find this Norfolk State team picking up confidence. Here's O'Quinn working on a side send. Fakes one way, now moves the other. He floats it up and in with a foul. And Norfolk State's got a chance at a three-point play. Here's Will Regan taking the pass down low, gets his man in the air. Oh, I like it. it in off the window. I like it, Will Regan. That's what I'm talking about, the up and under. That's a la Junior Burrow right there. Wearing Junior Burrow's number, coming with one of the Junior Burrow moves. This makes good on both free throws. So Norfolk State is back ahead by two now. Virginia's got to find a way to get back. They're going to turn it over. Regan got caught in the backcourt with a full court pressure. McKeachin's shot misses. Putback is up and good for McCauley, though. And it's a four-point lead now for Norfolk State. We were thoroughly outplayed. If it was a loose ball on the floor, an offensive rebound, uh, we lost our way. And and I was it was hard. You, know, you just you keep fighting. I did not expect to win that game the way it was looking. Chantel dribbles it between the rings, slings the pass far side to Harrell. Harrell pumping, gets his man in the air, now finds the opening, and calmly knocks down the jumper from 10 feet away. Upset big time in the brewing here. Norfolk State with the lead, but Virginia with the ball, trailing by two. Farrakhan unloads from three, top of the arc, and he throws it. A huge three-pointer from Mustafa Farrakhan has put Virginia back ahead by one. Five seconds separating game clock from shot clock and a chance to retake the lead for Norfolk State. Hampton takes it inside and there's a blocking foul. They're going to get on Mustafa Farrakhan. Second free throw was up and it is good. So he makes good on both free throws. Sammy looking for help. Crosses over on his man. He gets a screen from Sin. Unloads from three. It's off the back side of the iron. Rebound out to Harrell. He was fouled. KT Harrell was fouled 17 feet away from the rim with 5.7 seconds to go. He gives the ball a couple of bounces to tie the game. First free throw, rims in and out. He missed it. That's okay, we only need one. We only need one. One gets us into overtime, or he gives us an opportunity to tie this thing up. That's all we need is one. He's three for five now for the game. Second free throw on the way. Gets up. It hangs on the rim, no good, but it's tapped in as Hassan said. Puts Virginia back in front with 4.8 seconds to go. Norfolk State goes the other way. Pass ahead to Pauline, three-pointer, a wild one, no good. Virginia will sneak, and I do mean sneak, out of this building with a win tonight. What his name, Kyle or whatever, uh, the big guy was boxing me out. And he was just saying, well, you're not going to get it. And he was talking on trash to on KT because he was saying that, oh, he's a freshman. He's going to miss it. He's going to miss it. And I was like, well, if he miss it, I would get an offensive rebound or I would tip it and we're going to win. So, and that's what happened. I hope it's one of those games where I look at the tape and I say, I think I overreacted after the game and it wasn't as bad on tape, the great equalizer. But I've got a feeling I'm going to watch tape and probably be more frustrated. I understand how close we're playing this thing. You know, we're, we we don't, our margin of error, we say that all the time, but it's true, and anybody who doubts that, watch that game, and if you're struggling a little bit offensively, then you gotta be close to flawless or really good in those other areas, and when those things unravel like they did and what we work on, that's where I felt like um, we, we took a step backwards in that way.